Good evening, I'm Floyd Robertson. And I'm Earl Cannonbear. And this is the SCTV News. Uh, could I get a little more volume on this mic, please? <clears throat> a jumbo 747 crash landed on Interstate 12 just outside Mellonville today in what has been described as the worst disaster in this community. Hundreds of motorists heard screams of get out of the way coming from the cockpit as Captain Emil Roland was frantically waving cars off the road. Earl! Earl! What are you doing? I'm sorry. Floyd, I can't work in this chair. It's too uncomfortable. How many times have I asked you, please try and get me a comfortable chair? But no, it's the same old chair here to the words. Is that asking too much mean anything to you? Earl, we're in Jeez. the middle of a newscast. Now, what's the matter with you? Floyd, I'm just trying to do an efficient job, but it's terribly hard when I'm surrounded by inefficiency. <laughs> I'm sorry, please continue your item. Luckily, there were no injuries. Earl? A five-alarm blaze broke out in a doily factory early this morning on... Where's the chroma key picture of that fire? Is there, there, there's supposed to be a picture of that fire behind me as I read the item. I don't see it. Oh, look, somebody made a mistake. That's all. Just forget it. Forget it. Floyd, this is a big, colorful story about a fire that destroyed a million dollars worth of doilies. And I asked for a sketch of that fire to be placed behind me as I read the item. No, I won't forget it, Floyd. Once again... The crew on this show has made a mistake, and I want to make sure that John Q. Public out there knows that it's not me that's screwing up here. I demanded that sketch. And another thing, my marking pencil, it's usually set right here in front of me in case I have to underline keywords to give my items more bite, but is it here? I, I don't seem to see it anywhere. No, it's not, and why? Because the crew on this show has made another mistake. They forgot my marking pencil. Earl, will you please knock it off? Just... Will you shape up or ship out? Earl, shut up. Floyd, I think the viewers have a right to know just who the imbeciles are on this show. I think they have a pretty good idea, Earl. Now just keep quiet. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for what some might consider to be an unprofessional outburst. But when someone as proficient in their job as I am uh, finds himself working with a crew that is, for lack of a better word, unproficient, it really ticks me off. What the hell's going on here? Uh, I had nothing whatsoever to do with this, guys. Really, believe me, you're doing a super job, all of you. For SCTV News, I'm Floyd Robertson. And I'm... Good night.